Atterbium is a chemical element with symbol YB and atomic number 70. It is the 14th and penultimate element in the lanthanide series, which is the basis of the relative stability of its plus 2 oxidation state. However, like the other lanthanides, its most common oxidation state is plus 3, as in its oxide, halides, and other compounds. In aqueous solution, like compounds of other late lanthanides, soluble atterbium compounds form complexes with nine water molecules. Because of its closed shell electron configuration, its density and melting and boiling points differ significantly from those of most other lanthanides. In 1878, the Swiss chemist Jean Charles Gallissard de Marignac separated from the rare earth, Erbia, another independent component, which he called Aterbia. For Aterbi, the village in Sweden near where he found the new component of erbium. He suspected that aterbia was a compound of a new element that he called aterbium. In total, four elements were named after the village, the others being yttrium, terbium and erbium. In 1907, the new earth, Ludicia, was separated from aterbia, from which the element Ludicium, now Lutetium, was extracted by Georges Urbain, Karl Auer von Welsbach, and Charles James. After some discussion, Marignac's name, aterbium, was retained. A relatively pure sample of the metal was not obtained until 1953. At present, aterbium is mainly used as a dopant of stainless steel or active laser media, and less often as a gamma ray source. Natural aterbium is a mixture of seven stable isotopes, which altogether are present at concentrations of three parts per million. This element is mined in China, the United States, Brazil, and India in form of the minerals monazite, euxnite, and xenotime. The ytterbium concentration is low because it is found only among many other rare earth elements, moreover, it is among the least abundant. Once extracted and prepared, ytterbium is somewhat hazardous as an eye and skin irritant. The metal is a fire and explosion hazard. Characteristics Physical properties Aterbium is a soft, malleable and ductile chemical element that displays a bright silvery luster when pure. It is a rare earth element, and it is readily dissolved by the strong mineral acids. It reacts slowly with cold water and it oxidizes slowly in air. Aterbium has three allotropes labeled by the Greek letters alpha, beta, and gamma. Their transformation temperatures are minus 13 degrees Celsius and 795 degrees Celsius, although the exact transformation temperature depends on the pressure and stress. The beta allotrope grams per cc exists at room temperature, and it has a face-centered cubic crystal structure. The high temperature gamma allotrope 6.57 grams per cc has a body centered cubic crystalline structure. The alpha allotrope 6.903 grams per cc has a hexagonal crystalline structure and is stable at low temperatures. The beta allotrope has a metallic electrical conductivity at normal atmospheric pressure, but it becomes a semiconductor when exposed to a pressure of about 16000 atmospheres 1.6 gigapascals. Its electrical resistivity increases 10 times upon compression to 39,000 atmospheres 3.9 gigapascals, but then drops to about 10% of its room temperature resistivity at about 40,000 atmospheres 4.0 gigapascals, in contrast with the other rare earth metals, which usually have antiferromagnetic and or ferromagnetic properties at low temperatures, aterbium is paramagnetic at temperatures above 1.0 Kelvin. However, the alpha allotrope is diamagnetic. With a melting point of 824 degrees Celsius and a boiling point of 1196 degrees Celsius, aterbium has the smallest liquid range of all the metals. Contrary to most other lanthanides, which have a close-packed hexagonal lattice, aterbium crystallizes in the face-centered cubic system. Aterbium has a density of 6.973 g per cc, which is significantly lower than those of the neighboring lanthanides, thulium per cc and lutetium per cc. Its melting and boiling points are also significantly lower than those of thulium and lutetium. This is due to the closed-shell electron configuration of aterbium Z4F14 6s2, which causes only the two 6s electrons to be available for metallic bonding in contrast to the other lanthanides where three electrons are available and increases aterbium's metallic radius. Chemical properties 
Atterbium metal tarnishes slowly in air. Finely dispersed atterbium readily oxidizes in air and under oxygen. Mixtures of powdered atterbium with polytetrafluoroethylene or hexachloroethane burn with a luminous emerald green flame. Atterbium reacts with hydrogen to form various non-stoichiometric hydrides. Atterbium dissolves slowly in water, but quickly in acids, liberating hydrogen gas. Atterbium is quite electropositive, and it reacts slowly with cold water and quite quickly with hot water to form atterbium hydroxide. 2 yada bits s plus 6 h2o l 2 atterbium 3 hydroxide aq plus 3 h2 g atterbium reacts with all the halogens 2 yada bits s plus 3 f2 g 2 atterbium 3 fluoride s white 2 yada bits s plus 3 cl2 g 2 atterbium 3 chloride s white 2 yada bits south plus 3 bridge 2 g 2 atterbium 3 bromide s white 2 yada bits s plus 3 i2 g 2 atterbium 3 iodide s white the atterbium 3 ion absorbs light in the near infrared range of wavelengths but not in visible light so atterbia atterbium 3 oxide is white in color and the salts of atterbium are also colorless Atterbium dissolves readily in dilute sulfuric acid to form solutions that contain the colorless YB ions, which exist as nonahydrate complexes. 2 yada bits S plus 3 H2SO4 AQ plus 18 H2O L2 YB H2O 9 3 plus AQ plus 3 SO2 minus 4 AQ plus 3 H2 G YB 2 versus YB 3. Although usually trivalent, atterbium readily forms divalent compounds. This behavior is unusual for lanthanides, which almost exclusively form compounds with an oxidation state of plus 3. The plus 2 state has a valence electron configuration of 4F14 because the fully filled F shell gives more stability. The yellow-green atterbium ion is a very strong reducing agent and decomposes water, releasing hydrogen gas, and thus only the colorless atterbium ion occurs in aqueous solution. Samarium and thulium also behave this way in the plus-2 state, but europium is stable in aqueous solution. Atterbium metal behaves similarly to europium metal and the alkaline earth metals, dissolving in ammonia to form blue electride salts. Isotopes. Natural atterbium is composed of seven stable isotopes, 168 yada bits, 170 yada bits, 171 yada bits, 172 yada bits, 173 yada bits, 174 yada bits, and 176 yada bits, with 174 yada bits being the most common, at 31.8% of the natural abundance, 27 radioisotopes have been observed, with the most stable ones being 169 yada bits with a half Half-life of 32.0 days, 175 yada bits with a half-life of 4.18 days, and 166 yada bits with a half-life of 56.7 hours. All of its remaining radioactive isotopes have half-lives that are less than 2 hours and most of these have half-lives are less than 20 minutes. Atterbium also has 12 meta-states, with the most stable being 169 MYB T1 half 46 seconds. The isotopes of atterbium range in atomic weight from 147.9674 atomic mass unit U for 148 yada bits to 180.9562 U for 181 yada bits. The primary decay mode of atterbium isotopes lighter than the most abundant stable isotope, 174 yada bits, is electron capture, and the primary decay mode for those heavier than 174 yada bits is beta decay. The primary decay products of atterbium isotopes lighter than 174 yada bits are thulium isotopes, and the primary decay products of atterbium isotopes with heavier than 174 yada bits are lutetium isotopes. Occurrence Atterbium is found with other rare earth elements in several rare minerals. It is most often recovered commercially from monazite sand atterbium. The element is also found in euxnite and xenotime. The main mining areas are China, the United States, Brazil, India, Sri Lanka, and Australia. Reserves of atterbium are estimated as 1 million tons. 
Atterbium is normally difficult to separate from other rare earths, but ion exchange and solvent extraction techniques developed in the mid to late 20th century have simplified separation. Compounds of atterbium are rare and have not yet been well characterized. The abundance of atterbium in the earth's crust is about 3 mg per kilogram, as an even numbered lanthanide. In accordance with the Otto Harkins rule, atterbium is significantly more abundant than its immediate neighbors, thulium and lutetium, which occur in the same concentrate at levels of about 0.5% each. The world production of atterbium is only about 50 tons per year, reflecting that it has few commercial applications. Microscopic traces of atterbium are used as a dopant in the YB, YAG laser, a solid-state laser in which atterbium is the element that undergoes stimulated emission of electromagnetic radiation. Atterbium is often the most common substitute in yttrium minerals. In very few known cases, occurrences atterbium prevails over yttrium, as, e.g., in xenotime YB. A report of native atterbium from the Moon's regolith is known. Production It is relatively difficult to separate atterbium from other lanthanides due to its similar properties. As a result, the process is somewhat long. First, minerals such as monazite or xenotime are dissolved into various acids, such as sulfuric acid. Atterbium can then be separated from other lanthanides by ion exchange, as can other lanthanides. The solution is then applied to a resin, which different lanthanides bind in different matters. This is then dissolved using complexing agents, and due to the different types of bonding exhibited by the different lanthanides, it is possible to isolate the compounds. Atterbium is separated from other rare earths either by ion exchange or by reduction with sodium amalgam. In the latter method, a buffered acidic solution of trivalent rare earths is treated with molten sodium mercury alloy, which reduces and dissolves YB3. The alloy is treated with hydrochloric acid. The metal is extracted from the solution as oxalate and converted to oxide by heating. The oxide is reduced to metal by heating with lanthanum, aluminium, cerium or zirconium in high vacuum. The metal is purified by sublimation and collected over a condensed plate. Compounds The chemical behavior of atterbium is similar to that of the rest of the lanthanides. Most atterbium compounds are found in the plus 3 oxidation state, and its salts in this oxidation state are nearly colorless. Like europium, samarium, and thulium, the trihalides of atterbium can be reduced to the dihalides by hydrogen, zinc dust, or by the addition of metallic atterbium. The plus 2 oxidation state occurs only in solid compounds and reacts in some ways similarly to the alkaline earth metal compounds, for example, atterbium oxide YBO shows the same structure as calcium oxide sal. Halides Atterbium forms both dihalides and trihalides with the halogens fluorine, chlorine, bromine, and iodine. The dihalides are susceptible to oxidation to the trihalides at room temperature and disproportionate to the trihalides and metallic atterbium at high temperature. 3YBX22 YBX3 plus YB X equals F, Cl, bridge, I. Some atterbium halides are used as reagents in organic synthesis. For example, atterbium 3 chloride, atterbium 3 chloride is a Lewis acid and can be used as a catalyst in the aldol and Diels Alder reactions. Atterbium iodide, atterbium iodide may be used, like samarium iodide, as a reducing agent for coupling reactions. Atterbium fluoride, atterbium fluoride is used as an inert and non-toxic tooth filling as it continuously releases fluoride ions, which are good for dental health, and is also a good X-ray contrast agent. Oxides Atterbium reacts with oxygen to form atterbium oxide, atterbium oxide which crystallizes in the rare earth C-type sesquioxide structure which is related to the fluorite structure with one quarter of the anions removed, leading to atterbium atoms in two different six-coordinate environments. Atterbium oxide can be reduced to atterbium oxide YBO with elemental atterbium, which crystallizes in the same structure as sodium chloride. History 
A terbium was discovered by the Swiss chemist Jean Charles Gallissard de Marignac in the year 1878. While examining samples of gadolinite, Marignac found a new component in the earth then known as erbia, and he named it Aterbia, for Aterbi, the Swedish village near where he found the new component of erbium. Marignac suspected that Aterbia was a compound of a new element that he called Aterbium. In 1907, the French chemist Georges Urbain separated Marignac's Aterbia into two components, Neoiterbia and Lutetia. Neoiterbia later became known as the element aterbium, and lutetia became known as the element lutetium. The Austrian chemist Karl Auer von Welsbach independently isolated these elements from aterbia at about the same time, but he called them aldebaranium and cassiopium. The American chemist Charles James also independently isolated these elements at about the same time. Urbane and Wellsbach accused each other of publishing results based on the other party. The Commission on Atomic Mass, consisting of Frank Wigglesworth Clark, Wilhelm Ostwald, and Georges Urbane, which was then responsible for the attribution of new element names, settled the dispute in 1909 by granting priority to Urbane and adopting his names as official ones, based on the fact that the separation of lutetium from Marignac. S. Aterbium was first described by Urbane. After Urbane's names were recognized, Neoiterbium was reverted to Aterbium. The chemical and physical properties of Aterbium could not be determined with any precision until 1953, when the first nearly pure Aterbium metal was produced by using ion exchange processes. The price of Aterbium was relatively stable between 1953 and 1998 at about US $1,000 per kilogram. Applications Source of gamma rays The 169 yada bits isotope with a half-life of 32 days, which is created along with the short-lived 175 yada bits isotope half-life 4.2 days by neutron activation during the irradiation of ytterbium in nuclear reactors, has been used as a radiation source in portable X-ray machines. Like X-rays, the gamma rays emitted by the source pass through soft tissues of the body, but are blocked by bones and other dense materials. Thus, small 169 yada bit samples which emit gamma rays act like tiny X-ray machines useful for radiography of small objects. Experiments show that radiographs taken with a 169 yada bit source are roughly equivalent to those taken with X-rays having energies between 250 and 350 keV. 169 yada bits is also used in nuclear medicine. High stability atomic clocks Aterbium clocks hold the record for stability with ticks stable to within less than two parts in one quintillion 2 times 10 minus 18. The clocks developed at the National Institute of Standards and Technology NIST rely on about 10,000 rare earth atoms cooled to 10 microkelvin 10 millionths of a degree above absolute zero and trapped in an optical lattice, a series of pancake-shaped wells made of laser light. Another laser that ticks 518 trillion times per second provokes a transition between two energy levels in the atoms. The large number of atoms is key to the clock's high stability. Visible light waves oscillate faster than microwaves, and therefore optical clocks can be more precise than cesium atomic clocks. The Physikalische Technische Bundesinstalt is working on several such optical clocks. The model with one single ytterbium ion caught in an ion trap is highly accurate. The optical clock based on it is exact to 17 digits after the decimal point. A pair of experimental atomic clocks based on ytterbium atoms at the National Institute of Standards and Technology has set a record for stability. NIST physicists reported in the August 22, 2013 issue of Science Express that the ytterbium clock's ticks are stable to within less than two parts in one quintillion one followed by 18 zeros, roughly ten times better than the previous best published results for other atomic clocks. The clocks would be accurate within a second for a period comparable to the age of the universe. Doping of stainless steel ytterbium can also be used as a dopant to help improve the grain refinement, strength, and other mechanical properties of stainless steel. Some ytterbium alloys have rarely been used in dentistry. Ytterbium as dopant of active media The ytterbium plus 3 ion is used as a doping material in active laser media, specifically in solid-state lasers and double-clad fiber lasers. 
Aterbium lasers are highly efficient, have long lifetimes, and can generate short pulses. Aterbium can also easily be incorporated into the material used to make the laser. Aterbium lasers commonly radiate in the 1.06 to 1.12 micrometers band being optically pumped at wavelength 900 nm to 1 micrometer, dependently on the host and application. The small quantum defect makes aterbium a prospective dopant for efficient lasers and power scaling. The kinetic of excitations in aterbium doped materials is simple and can be described within the concept of effective cross sections. For most aterbium doped laser materials, as for many other optically pumped gain media, the McCumber relation holds, although the application to the aterbium doped composite materials was under discussion, usually, low concentrations of aterbium are used. At high concentrations, the aterbium doped materials show photodarkening glass fibers or even a switch to broadband emission crystals and ceramics instead of efficient laser action. This effect may be related with not only overheating, but also with conditions of charge compensation at high concentrations of aterbium ions. Much progress has been made in the power scaling lasers and amplifiers produced with aterbium YB doped optical fibers. Power levels have increased from the 1 kW regimes due to the advancements in components as well as the YB doped fibers. Fabrication of low NA, large mode area fibers enable achievement of near perfect beam qualities M2. Aterbium doped LMA fibers also have the advantages of a larger mode field diameter, which negates the impacts of nonlinear effects such as stimulated Brillouin scattering and stimulated Raman scattering, which limit the achievement of higher power levels, and provide a distinct advantage over single mode aterbium doped fibers. In order to achieve even higher power levels in aterbium based fiber systems, all factors of the fiber must be considered. These can be achieved only via optimization of all the aterbium fiber parameters, ranging from the core background losses to the geometrical properties, in order to reduce the splice losses within the cavity. Power scaling also requires optimization of matching passive fibers within the optical cavity. The optimization of the aterbium doped glass itself through host glass modification of various dopants also plays a large part in reducing the background loss of the glass, improvements in slope efficiency of the fiber, and improved photodarkening performance, all of which contribute to increased power levels in 1 micrometer systems. Others Aterbium metal increases its electrical resistivity when subjected to high stresses. This property is used in stress gauges to monitor ground deformations from earthquakes and explosions. Currently, aterbium is being investigated as a possible replacement for magnesium in high density pyrotechnic payloads for kinematic infrared decoy flares. As aterbium oxide has a significantly higher emissivity in the infrared range than magnesium oxide, a higher radiant intensity is obtained with aterbium based payloads in comparison to those commonly based on magnesium, Teflon, Viton. Precautions Although aterbium is fairly stable chemically, it is stored in airtight containers and in an inert atmosphere such as a nitrogen-filled dry box to protect it from air and moisture. All compounds of aterbium are treated as highly toxic, although studies appear to indicate that the danger is minimal. However, aterbium compounds cause irritation to human skin and eyes, and some might be teratogenic. Metallic aterbium dust can spontaneously combust, and the resulting fumes are hazardous. Aterbium fires cannot be extinguished using water, and only dry chemical class D fire extinguishers can extinguish the fires. References Further reading Guide to the Elements, Revised Edition, Albert Stewartka, Oxford University Press, 1998. ISBN 0-19-508083-1 External links It's Elemental, Aterbium. Aterbium. Encyclopædia Britannica 11th ed., 1911. Encyclopædia of Geochemistry, Aterbium.